Hey guys, this is Elise. I'm a therapist and wellness coach. Welcome to COVID-19 Mental Health Chats. Today's topic is what to do when your body freezes up with anxiety because of coronavirus. This video is prepared for both healthcare workers and non-healthcare workers in our situation. You guys have told me via private message, comment, or other forms that you're finding yourself holding your breath while at work, holding your breath while wearing your work uniform, holding your breath while outdoors, holding your breath when you see people nearby and getting frozen cognitively with the fear of hurting someone unintentionally or not knowing if you can go somewhere without running into an adverse variable. I'm going to teach you two practical and easy skills you can practice without the help of a therapist and that you can also do no matter where you are at any time of the day. The first skill is progressive relaxation. The second skill is breathing. They may sound so simple because it is. What is great is they are also so helpful. When it comes to progressive relaxation, excellent results have been found in the treatment of muscular tension, anxiety, insomnia, depression, fatigue, irritable bowel, muscle spasms, neck and back pain, high blood pressure, mild phobias, and even stuttering. You only need to do 15 minute sessions of progressive relaxation. If you do it daily for two weeks, you'll master this. Most people do not realize their muscles are continually tense and for long periods of time. This exercise helps increase self-awareness of particular muscles, muscle groups, and even discerning between the feeling of what is tension versus deep relaxation. You can do this exercise in clusters of muscle groups. You can do the upper extremity grouping of your hands, forearms, and biceps, or you could do the top extremity grouping of your head, face, throat, muscles, um, shoulders, forehead, cheeks, nose, eyes, jaws, lips, tongue, and neck. And a third and core grouping that you can opt for are the chest, stomach, and lower back muscles. Lastly, you may also opt for um, the lower grouping of muscles in your thighs, buttocks, calves, and feet. You can opt to focus in on one of those muscle groups, or you can move through all four muscle groupings in a singular practice of progressive relaxation. There is a lot of flexibility with this resource. Use it in the way that best suits you. I'm going to choose one of the muscle groups for the purpose of this video. So start by assuming a comfortable position and relax. As you do the steps that I describe next, you can keep a simple sentence moving through your mind, something along the lines of let the tension move, or let the tension dissolve away, or smooth it out. Begin by clenching your right fist, tighter and tighter, noticing the tension as you do so. Keep it clenched and allow the tension to be what it is in your fist, hand, and forearm. Clench for 30 seconds, then relax for 15. Feel the looseness in your right hand and notice the contrast with the tension. Repeat this process with your right fist again, always observing as you relax that this is the opposite of tension. Relax and feel the difference. Repeat the entire process with your left fist and then both fists at once. Then allow your attention to move to your elbows. Bend them and tense your biceps. Tense them as hard as you can and observe the feeling of hard alertness in your arms. Relax and straighten out your arms. Let the relaxation flow and notice what shifts and changes. Repeat this several times for each muscle in this upper extremity region. Remember, keep the simple phrase in your mind as you release the tension in your muscles, a, t a phrase like let it go or allow it to dissolve. You can do the same process with each of the four major muscle groups I shared before, and when you do this process, be gentle with yourself, even as you exercise the tension. Excessive tightening can result in muscle or spinal damage. Over-tightening the toes or feet muscles can also cause muscle cramping. Moderately tense your muscles and slowly release the tension. Now we can move on to the second skill, when you feel yourself freezing up with anxiety, fear, or other paralysis-inducing feelings. Breathing exercises have been found to be effective in reducing anxiety, depression, irritability, muscular tension, and fatigue. They are also used to help those who tend to hold their breaths, suffer hyperventilation, shallow breathing, and have cold hands and feet. 
The modified steps I will share for breathing exercising to help your body unfreeze is going to be based on the reality that healthcare workers often cannot be laying down in a yoga pose called Shavasana during work, and that parents who are having to take on roles of school teacher also suddenly cannot um, call out class time with kiddos to lay down and breathe. Wherever you are, you can do breathing exercises to help calm and keep your body supple. Wherever you are, first start by noticing your feet. Allow your toes to spread out a little and open your feet to the sides and release the tension if they are curled together into themselves. Keep your arms at your sides if you can, not touching your body, and keep your palms open if you can. Bring your attention to your breathing and either notice or place your hand on the place, um, the spot where your breath rises and falls the most as you inhale and exhale. If this is your chest, you are not making good use of the lower part of your lungs. When people are nervous, it's natural to take breaths with many short, shallow breaths from their upper chest. So just notice what's going on with your breath and where it's located. It'll tell you a little bit more about what's going on. If you can, place your hands gently on your abdomen or simply give attention to that part of your core to follow your breathing. It is best if you breathe through your nose, breathe in your nose and out your mouth. Scan your body for tension, especially your throat, chest, and abdomen. Keep your feet apart and try to make your spine straight. When you begin to feel ease at your rhythm of breathing, continue deep breathing with a small smile for about five to 10 minutes at a time. As you continue this practice, you can extend the period to 20 minutes. When you have learned to relax yourself using deep breathing, practice it whenever you feel yourself getting tense. I have two simpler modifications of this if you're in a situation that you cannot stand and do that breathing exercise. You may be interrupted frequently in a situation, for example. So try alternative breathing. Alternative breathing is when you inhale slowly and soundlessly through one nostril at a time. You close the other nostril while you take in a single breath in and a single breath out. Then you switch sides and take a single breath in and a single breath out. Continue and do about five cycles on each side. You may not have your hands free, so if you find yourself feeling tired and tense, but you don't, you have to keep your hands busy with your work or whatever you're tending to, um, you may not be getting enough oxygen. So the type of breathing exercise that you can do in a situation where you don't have your hands free or you can't stand and do something for a full five minutes, a relaxing sigh might be a helpful way to use this skill. A relaxing sigh releases a bit of the tension and can be practiced at will as a means of relaxing. To do this, take a straight posture. Sigh deeply, letting out a sound of deep relief as the air rushes out of your lungs. Don't think about inhaling, just let the air come in naturally. Repeat this eight times or so at rounds of four so that when you feel the need for it, and the, um, you can do this to experience the feeling of your tension notching down in intensity. So to wrap up, when your body freezes up, you can do progressive muscle relaxation to help it ease back into movement and flow. And when, when your body or mind freezes up, you can do breathing exercises to help bring oxygen back to your brain and keep things in movement there too. This can help you adjust with the environment's variables as a first step to take you out of the frozen state of being when you feel yourself getting locked up because of coronavirus or um, the changes that have come from coronavirus. Hope this helps. Comment, subscribe, connect with me here, and I will continue to do my best to give you resources and practical steps, easy skills that you can practice for your own self-care. See you guys next time.